Representative Wendell Goyard and the Project Cool Breeze Committee are honoring 11 people who are making a difference in the community at their annual MLK Picture Awards at the Charleston Music Hall this upcoming Monday. I talk one-on-one -on -one with B.A. Akins, the Program Coordinator of the Awards for this edition of Quentin's Close-Ups. And if you haven't already, subscribe to my YouTube channel and like Quentin's Close-Ups on Facebook. B.A. Akins, welcome to Quentin's Close-Ups. Hi, Quentin. Thank you for having me. Oh, you're very welcome. You know, you went from being a loyal Quentin's Close-Ups uh, viewer, which I appreciate, to now being an interviewee. <laughs> yeah, I made it. I'm on the Quentin Close-Up show. <laughs> well, I appreciate that greatly. And Ms. Akins, I'm bringing you on Quentin's Close-Ups because needless to say, you are the program coordinator for the iconic MLPK Picture Awards, which will take place next week, Monday, here in downtown Charleston, which is right where I'm sitting right now. Yes. So, tell me, as we sit here right now, what's new, what's now with the MLK Picture Awards? Well, Quentin, um, as you know, the, the MLK Picture Awards program symbolizes the very essence of what Dr. King represented, and that was diversity, um, compassion towards mankind, brotherly love, and respect for one another. And in keeping with those ideals and those philosophies of Dr. King, each year, Representative Gilliard and the Project Cool Breeze Committee, they seek to recognize members of the community um, um, like you said, who go above and beyond. And um, this year we have 11 new community members that will be honored on this coming Monday. Wow. Wow. I'm going I'm to go back to that actually in just a second, but let me actually, let me break that down. Let's uh, be it as you know, <laughs> how I do it. <laughs> yes. When you all were selecting these 11 members, which one of these particular members actually represents diversity, compassion towards mankind, Whatever you love and respect, and actually keeping with the ideals and philosophies of MLK. Quentin, all of them, uh, all 11. Um, we have Representative Carl Anderson, and uh, I know some of your, your viewers may know our recipients, and, they was, and once they hear their names, they're going to say, absolutely. We have Mrs. Joy Brown, right. we have Mrs. Darlene Dunmire Roberson, right. Right. Um, Mr. Dow Griffin, right. Right. Um, the Honorable Jackie Haywood, sure. former sure. mayor of um, Hollywood, um, Dr. Resh McCann, sure. Ms. Sure. Audrey Lisbon, um, Mr. S um, Sam Mustafa, um, Mr. Lewis Smith, I know you're very familiar with Mr. Lewis Smith, Mrs. Vicki Stuckey, and Mr. Gentry Via. Yes. So all of them represent something um, you know, one part of diversity, um, just compassion towards mankind, because they do a lot in the community, and we just don't want that to go unnoticed. And Ms. Akins, as you know, obviously the MLK Picture Awards has been going on for 26 years now. So what is the biggest difference about this particular event? I would say the biggest difference about this one is our keynote speaker this year, and that is uh, Mr. Isaac Newton Ferris. He is the nephew of the late Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King. So we are excited to hear him and to hear his message that he will have for our honorees and for our audience members. Wow. And uh, obviously, Ms. Akins, as you know, you talked about it just a second ago about the ideals and philosophies. Over the past 26 years, how has this particular picture awards been an example of all of those things? Um, well, how has this picture awards? Yes, ma'am. Quentin, I would say this one, just like the others, um, with the new members, the new honorees that are coming in, each one brings something different. Each one represented something different. So each year we build and we get honorees who are most deserving. Yes. So, um, I, know, I just think that each year is different. Each year brings a new person um, to be recognized, and those in the community know who they are when they see them. And I, I want to ask you about this a different way, Ms. Uh, Akins. How has the MLK Picture Awards made the people in this community stronger? I think they've... Um, the MLK Picture Awards has made the people in this community stronger by, um, by the work that they do. Um, we have some who dedicate, um, and give food to the community. We have a lot who, um, donate their time and their service through different organizations. Um, and some of us just don't know all the work, um, that they do. Some give money. Um, so, um, 
it's, it's just different things that each will bring, that each bring to the awards um, program, and that's why they're being honored. And before I get to my last question with you, Ms. Akins, I wanted to ask you this. What exactly is the philosophy for the MLK Awards and what ideals are you guys currently using and hope to use in the future? Um, we are we are hoping to continue to let those out there know that if they are in the community and they're working and um, someone may not notice that they are donating those services, they are helping others, they are working behind the scenes. We just um, want to keep with that um, philosophy and those ideas that Dr. King had and then just kind of bring them out and recognize and let them know to continue to do what they're doing in the community. Sometimes, Quentin, you think that people don't notice what you're doing, but someone does. And that's what I like about the MLK Picture Awards um, and the, the process of how we do it. We have those in the community who will nominate somebody, and sometimes others just don't know. You don't know that someone is doing this. So um, we try to continue to have those um have those people um, no nominate our um, honorees, our recipients, and um, we get a fresh group every year. And then we start learning more about them because once we see them, we start following them and looking into all the wonderful things that they're doing in the community. And I also wanted to let you know that yes, we do have okay. another special guest um, that's coming, and I want to um, just let you know who he is. He is um, Congressman Ro Khanna. He is... Um, a congressman, he represents California's 17th congressional district. So we're excited that he will be in Charleston and he will actually introduce our speaker. Wow. And, 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 and I want to let the viewers also know, Ms. Aikens, that I was once an uh, honoree for yes. the MLK uh, Fitcher Awards. You're, you're on the commercial that we're running. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, cool. <laughs> I appreciate that. <laughs> but uh, obviously, as you just mentioned, you all you know get the nominations from the community. And, and obviously, as I mentioned, too, you are going to actually nominate, well, honor 11 people out of those nominations. But how many nominations did you all get in total for this particular year? Well, Quentin, I am not on the board. Um, I just coordinate the event. So I don't have the actual number. What I get um, are the final numbers and the names. But I know um, several of them come in each year. Um, and we're just thankful that um, that our community members take the time to nominate them. Um, but I'm not on the board. Um, I'm actually just coordinate, coordinating the event. And so once everyone has been chosen, then those names are sent over to me and then I start working. Wow. And as a, let's, let's reset, by the way, Ms. Akins. Who, what, when, where, and how? Um, what? Um, the MLK Picture Awards, um, the 26th annual MLK Picture Awards, um, um, presented by Representative Wendell Gilliard and the Project Cool Breeze Committee. It will be happen on, happening on January the 29th at 12 o'clock noon. It is free to the public, and we will be at the Charleston Music Hall, the beautiful Charleston Music Hall at 37 John Street um, in the historic downtown Charleston. Wow, wow. And, and for more information, where can we go? You can call me, 843-270-8018. <laughs> That, that's amazing. Well, Ms. Viet Akins with the MLK Pitch Awards, thank you for your time. And again, welcome to Quentin's Close-Ups. Thank you, Quentin. I enjoyed. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs>